Good. Okay. And are you going on the paddle boats? I spent so much darn time on this path, I want to see it in action. Uh-huh. That that's that's pretty much it, is it? O okay. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Bark Attack campaigns, where after leaving the Chinute airfield, we now have a choice. We have two different directions we can go into. We can go into Victoria Lake, which I just briefly poked my nose into in my off time, which is why it's bizarrely saying continue here. I, I didn't do anything, Bark Attack. It's fine. I just looked at it. So we could do Victoria Lake, which, you know, has a lake. The hint is in the title. Or Western Roundup which is an old Wild West town that's seen better days. And the goals here are pretty high. Have 500 guests in your park, happiness rating of at least 75%, 800 park tickets, and do all of that in two years. Whereas Victoria Lake, 300 guests in the park, but no loan debts. Now, I have been a little free and easy with the money in the last few campaigns. It might be a good idea to actually have a little restriction on that. Uh, optionally have 100 or 200 guests in the park by the end of September year two to do all of that optionally. I, this is why I poked my nose into it. I like the sound of Victoria Lake, mostly because I do have a tendency to be really, really free with the bank loans in these games. So having that little restriction on me might be a good idea. And 300 guests in the park is pretty reasonable. Let's head over to Victoria Lake and see what we can do over there. So, yeah, pretty much a huge, massive lake in, in the middle of the, the field here. Again, the hint was in the title. It did say Victoria Lake. There is indeed a lake. A lot of good build area over here, eventually, and a decent amount back here. Not much we can do on the sides here. Not much at all. Probably slap a ride or two down in there. And actually, now that I'm saying that, what are we starting out with? What have we got as the basics? Carousel, Ferris wheel, spiral slide. Uh, Gravitron Swinging Ship, haven't seen that one before, and Top Scan, haven't seen that one before in the Thrill Rides. Coasters, a couple of basic coasters, Transport Ride, we've got the Miniature Railway, and Water Rides, which will probably be pretty important, what with the lake and all. We've got Paddle Boats, okay, well, we'll definitely want to look at putting those down, no question of that. Let's get, even though we're on pause, let's make sure I actually get some research going. How about, why don't you actually research Water Rides? We've only got the one of them. And we've got a huge lake. So why don't you go ahead and do that? I notice your budget is a little lower than we usually start at. We usually start at around halfway here. But given that money is kind of our thing in this one, let's just keep you at 200. Let's see how you do with that budget when we eventually unpause it, which we haven't right now. Delivery area here. Okay, good. So I'm seeing that we could start doing concessions all along this pathway. That's kind of an idea that I'm thinking about right off the top of my head. Concessions all along this pathway, but unlike the midway that we did in the Chinute Airfield, I'm not going to go mental with the concessions. Chinute Airfield, where I wasn't worried about money, and I really had a very key, clear idea of how I wanted the place to look, which is really the, the, the fun of Parkitect. It's not so much the beating the game. It's making the park look like what you want it to look like. But let's be a little more conservative here. Let's be a little more conservative in Victoria Lake. So let's start out with something basic, like a simple ride. Very, very simple ride. Let's get something going along this way. What's going to be good right coming in the door? How about Spiral Slide? Why don't you have Spiral Slide in the front door Get everyone excited about sliding down things when they come in the park. I'm not, I'm not digging where you've got all these objects on the path here. I'm going to have to delete some of those. I mean, I like it. It looks good, but it's not what I want. So let's do this here. Let's give you an entrance up here and an exit. Oh, yeah, sort of here-ish. That'll work. Okay, give me your basics like a q can come what what color is that now let's uh actually no red for the slide works well red for the slide i can i can work with that you go over here you go over here and you uh what did they use cobbles yeah i'll, I'll keep that keep that theme going 
you go over here. Okay, perfect. Let me remember to do something basic, like turn the ride on, which I invariably forget to do, even though there's nobody in the door right now. Okay, part one complete. Now, I want to start fleshing out a concession area. We got to bilk some money out of these people, because if we're going to try and not have any loan debt, we need to make sure that we're making money in this park, which we haven't really played around with before. We're going to try and stay profitable. Let me start mapping out something basic over, the, over here and then come back. Alrighty, I've started fleshing out a very basic concession area here with the somewhat limited number of shops we've been given to work with. We'll have to get a research team going for shops as well when they're done with the water rides. Uh, umbrella stand, and I've covered all the others. Let's, uh, you know what, a, a second soft drink place will not go amiss just because I've already mapped out the space for it. I may as well put it in there. Employee paths to everything so they can get all the goods there and employee paths to the regular paths so the other employees can get in and out like the janitors and whatnot. And I tweaked a little bit the benches and lamps that were kind of sitting all over here. I wasn't super crazy about those, so I've reworked those a little bit. Now, speaking of which, I still do want some benches here because otherwise people will get all fussy because they won't have anywhere to sit. So let's get a bench here and a bench here that looks like there's plenty of trash cans around. We won't have to worry about those right at the moment. So next step, I need to flesh out some roofs over here. Tried as best as possible to cover up this side of the delivery area. The guests are still going to get fussy about this side over here because they'll be able to see it. I may... I may just wall that off for right now. And then this area here, we can add some shops down the road as we either research more or we just want to put more down. I can punch some holes in that wall, no problem, and get that going. So with that being done, I'm going to put some roofs on here and seal this up. I'm just making sure that everything is what, what I need it to be and the employees can get everywhere that they need to go looks like they can and then when i do add those shops they'll be able to get in there too okay cool let me flesh that out and then i think we need to throw down a couple more rides and then of course there's the ultimate question in parkitect of where are we going to put those pesky restrooms that people hate so darn much how about if we put them way up here just put them in the middle of nowhere. It's not really the middle of nowhere. They can get to them fairly easy. And I'll bring another path out along here so people can kind of do a little circuit to get in and out of the restroom area. This is going to be a pretty darn good spot to throw down the first set of toilets that people just absolutely hate. So let's get some of those going on say here and we'll do a couple more in there that's not what i wanted to do at all but that's exactly what i wanted to do that and how about another one just for good measure in case it's getting a little crowded around here how about if we threw that down there and then continued that path along otherwise they're strangely not going to be able to get in and out of there oh that bush seems to be sort of hardwired in there okay well work your way around the bush to the toilets i'm sure it'll be fine let me pretty the toilets up a little bit and then then we'll throw down another ride okay just prettying these up a little bit with some nice walls and roofs for them what else could we put in there how about the spire how about the spire in a blinding yellow that seems fair oh no it's not gonna quite fit the way i want it to is it no but it will if i do this first that will make that look better so you and you and then then we could add a nice yellow spire to things right about there perfect okay good i'm digging that all right there's your toilets people the horrible horrible toilets that nobody wants to acknowledge exists but everybody needs ride number two please what uh, let's see we've got a calm ride how about a thrilling ride well let's get the swinging ship it's victoria lake let's get the swinging ship oh that's a long thin one like the ferris wheel okay that's a hundred percent fine i kind of want this to 
be a big circle that people are going to do as they go in and out of the toilets. So, with that being said, how about if you had... Well, how about if you just sat like that? You know what? I'm overthinking it. Sit like this. This can go here. And this can actually come out the back end of this. Now, give me... Give me paths, first of all. Let's make sure that all links up nice. So come here. Yep, there we go. That'll link that up and then come over here. And then you can come down here. And then we'll do some decoratives in this area. You still need a queue. How about if you were, say, oh, a little more bluish, actually? Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can just come down here and then over here and people can get in down there. And then again, we'll pretty all of this up area, this area up later with some more decoratives when we actually get some people in the door and we're not pressed for building time. Speaking of people coming in the door, are we kind of almost ready for that? No, no, not really. But while I'm thinking of people, let me get some staff going right now because we're going to need them sooner rather than later. So hauler, yeah, we'll hire you and we'll hire a mechanic. Don't really need more than one right now. Definitely hire a janitor. You can get in and out, right? Yep, you can get in and out of that area. And a security guard. Oh, I can change your uniform. I'm not sure I ever actually knew that. Well, you wear green now. There you go. And one entertainer. What are we going to have in a lake? Got to be shark. Got to be shark, right? I mean, it's, it's just got to be. So shark person, you can live over there. Okay, good. All promising so far. I want to throw down those paddle boats. I want that ride in here. I mean, it just, it's kind of obvious, really. It's, it's a lake. We've got to have paddle boats in here. Now, I haven't done these before. How do these sort of work? Um, I guess they can just live right there. Okay, fine. Yeah, those can just live right there. Super. And a queue and an exit. Now, where where is your exit going to go? Because I'm seeing that people are just coming right out onto the water here. I probably need to put a path down first to get over to here. So uh, it has to be placed next to a station platform of paddle boats. Okay, so, oh, I could put it like there. Okay, well, right now, people are just going to be exiting into the lake, but I think we can learn to cope with that with the, you know, little few paths around here. Let me fidget with this for a sec. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So people will come down, they'll get in the queue here for the paddle boats, and then they'll exit back onto here and just go on their merry way back up the path. And it actually kind of looks neat, too. Looks like a paddle boat area, a little bit of a, a dock, a jetty here that you'd get onto the paddle boats from. I think we're going to open the park. I think that's the next. Yeah, let's get things going here. Let me remember to make sure all the rides are turned on like this one. And how about the paddle boats like this one? Um, not enough space on the water for boats to move from one end of the station to the other. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hold the phone here. Hold the phone. Not enough space on the water for boats to move from one end of the station, which is this to the other. Ah, they need to come in and out of here. Okay, I need to refigure my exit. Okay, can do. Hang on. Let me fidget with that now. Nope, that bit doesn't work either. Still not enough space on the water for boats to move from one end of the station to the other. That's unfortunate because I really liked the way I designed this path. I thought that looked very, very nice. Okay, back to the drawing board with the paddle boats. Let's see if I can get this figured out. Nope, it doesn't like that one either, which is also a shame because I kind of like the way this was coming together too. All right, let me try something else and see if we can get this to, to work. I'm not exactly sure. I know everyone on the planet is a better Park Attack player than I am. I get it. I'm obviously missing something extremely fundamental here, but it's a little fidgety. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a little bit fidgety in terms of, well, what exactly is it that you want me to do when you say there's not enough space? Is there enough space? now? Is that meet your requirements? Please say yes. There's not enough space on the water for boats to move from one end of the station to the other. Okay. Okay. Let me go Google this. 
Okay, possible issue, the water might be too shallow, so let me just do some minor demolition on the lake bed area. Let's make sure this lake is nice and deep for the paddle boats. Everyone's got plenty of space to paddle around and do their thing. Come, flatten, flatten. Do what I'm telling you to do. Thank you. Okay. That's a much deeper lake bed. I'm just going to snivel off those areas, too. And let's make sure they've got plenty of room here. Okay, let's do that, and let's do a couple of other things that I've learned on the intranets. Okay, that seems to have done the trick. The ride is technically on at this point. I don't have paths to it yet, but we'll, we'll do that right now. But yeah, it was the depth of the lake bed. The water was not deep enough for the boats to travel. Okay, got it. A little bit of Googling there, and we've kind of conquered that, except I don't actually want that to be a path. I want that to be a queue. All right, let me just readjust my swan boats here. Hang on, let's get the exit going at least. Why don't you come over here, and you can come over here, and you can go into there. And you, I actually want to... Demo, oh, demo, demo this bit for me, please. And let's put a queue in there. So, yeah, that all happened. A little bit of Googling and intranets research. Depth of the water. That was the problem. Depth of the water. And you are now, well, closed. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's not enough space on the water for boats to move from one end of the station to the other. What is the problem? What is the freaking problem? Let me go back to the Googles. Okay, somehow it likes this just fine. I have finally, finally managed to open the paddle boat ride. It, I guess it just needed more space for the animation to go around the lake or something. I don't know. I don't care. But raising the queue up and over a bridge seems to have done the trick. So we have technically opened the paddle boat ride. And that took me so long. Let me just make sure I've opened everything else. Yes, okay. Good. We can actually, at this point, unpause this and get, you know, some people in the door at this point. Now I'm going to have to redo all of my paths over here that were sort of my test paths, if you will. My vague attempts to get the paddle boats going. I'll leave that one right there. There's, I might put something down there in the future. Okay! Paddle boat rides. You better be raking in the money after the amount of real lifetime that that took me. Um, in fact, right off the bat, let's get you making more money. How about it's two fifty for the paddle boat ride? Because money is going to be our goal here. Let's see if we can actually make some money in this park. Two fifty for that. That's actually not bad. We'll see what people start saying about the prices when we get some, well, info on the customers and see how they're feeling about things. I know things are out of stock. He's going to deal with that. We just opened the doors, so you don't worry about that. And actually, speaking of stores, this place right here would be an awesome spot for an info kiosk, wouldn't it? Because they don't hate that. They don't actually hate the info kiosk in terms of, you know, looking at it. Oh, you're gonna... Uh, you're a fidgety spot, aren't you? You're not gonna be centrally located like I want you to be, are you? Um, okay, you know what? That's a good spot. Live there. That's a perfectly acceptable spot for you to live. And let's path you up a little bit. All of this can just be paths. And then around here, let's get something nice. Maybe some benches people could sit on. Yeah, you can, you know, you could sit on a bench and look out at the water or at least have your back to the water there there and there and probably wouldn't kill us to have a trash can around there as well uh trash bins just have one yeah there perfect anything else we want to put there while i'm kind of in the neighborhood mm, tv seems a little excessive how about uh yeah i'm going to tell you where to get to the paddle boats that would be a good sign to put on that path Go to the paddle boats immediately and spend all of your money there. You, you went right by him. You, you, you. Oh, you're a janitor. Never mind. You work for me. Okay. Well, keep, keep doing that then. Are you going to the paddle boats? Yes, you're heading for the paddle boats. You better darn well be heading for the paddle boats. That pathing was a nightmare to figure out. Okay. Um, you, Gloria Cox, you have spent no money in here. I'm sorry. Are we not charging a gate fee? Because uh, we're going to correct that right about now-ish. 
yeah, it's actually costing nothing to get in here. Oh dear, that's no good at all. How about it costs you two bucks to get in here? There we go, two bucks to get in the door. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We're not just walking in for free here, people. Okay, he stocked something. He is working on stocking the shops. Good, okay. And are you going on the paddle boats? I spent so much darn time on this path. I want to see it in action. Uh-huh. That, that's, that's pretty much it, is it? Oh, okay. Sure. Well, you have fun with that. And I'm going to go look at anything else in Park Attack that I can look at. I'm going to build a regular ride now. I'm just going to build a regular ride that doesn't require water pathing. I know. I get it. I'll say it again. Everyone else on the planet is better than Park Attack than I am. I totally get it. I'm sure people played that for the very first time and said, Oh, I totally understand how this works right off the bat. I don't need any more information than what the game is telling me. Great. Ain't nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay. But I got it in the end. I figured it out. Um, I don't like this path. Speaking of pathing, I don't like this path. Um, no, I don't want to actually put a path. I want to demo it. I don't like where this is at all. Um, sorry, guys. You're going to lose your pathing there for a second. I actually want this to come more over here, here, and here. That way I can squeeze another ride in here. How are we doing on money? We got ten grand. Okay, we haven't made anything yet, apparently, but we got 43 people in the door, so that's pretty good. What have we got kicking around for uh, Ferris wheel? Not so much, really. What other thrilling rides do we have? Because it ain't paddle boats. How about Top Scan? What does that do for a living? Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, um, sure, we, we could have that. That looks dangerous. Throw that down there. And um, have a pa a queue, rather queue rather here where could i get a good queue going on put a queue here and put the ag exit there good and give me cues please and let's make you really gaudy and yellow how about you came down to here and to here perfect okay yeah you better be enjoying those paddle boats i paid for them and it took me ages to figure out how to get them to work right so you better be lining up by the droves to paddle around on this lake so this will be a rather odd little edit in the middle of the video and the only reason for that is i took two episodes of parkitect and stitched them together just so we get more done rather than just messing around with the paddle boats i feel we get more done in the next bit do a roller coaster and all sorts of vaguely interesting things happen so that's the reason for this rather weird edit in the middle of it let's dive straight back into some more park attack good morning everyone dave from the wee hours here back with some more park attack campaigns we're still in victoria lake after the debacle with the paddle boats in the last episode yes for those who are extremely frustrated with my incompetent park attack gameplay we spent most of the last episode fussing with the paddle boat and trying to get that so it would actually work and it involved building this large queue ramp up and over nothing at all so the paddle boats could do their proper animation all the way around that was the fussy part of that we also made the lake a bit deeper too because that seemed to help things so the paddle boats as as exciting as exciting as the paddle boats are they now work which is good. Now we can concentrate on some other parts of our park here, which is largely making money. That's the overall goal of this. Well, making money without going into debt. That's the critical part for me because I'm very free and easy with the bank loans in games like this, and I often don't really care if they're paid back or not, but part of the challenge is we can't have any loan debt with this campaign. So I'm gonna try to avoid taking out any loans at all, and if we do, paying them back as promptly as possible. Wow, the new ride is just killing it over here. Uh, yeah, Top Scan is doing very well. How much are we charging for Top Scan? Four bucks? Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Um, how are we? Yeah, money's going up. We're at negative a thousand, but we've built a bunch of stuff. So that's hardly surprising. What I'd like to do today is two things. I'd like to flesh out the concession area a little bit more um not too quickly because we only really just opened the park and the hauler hasn't even finished stocking the stores that we have i don't want to add another hauler right now because that's going to be a wage that we're going to have to pay and i'd like to get our first roller coaster going over here seems to be a good spot 
if I do concessions here, maybe another small ride over here, and then, oh, it's pouring rain, and then a roller coaster, probably not a huge one, just a roller coaster that people can enjoy. It's kind of the whole point of a theme park over there, and the people don't like to be in the paddle boats while it's raining. Nobody is surprised by that. But the shark entertainer has made it over here. On the wrong side, mind you, but he's made it over. Oh, top scan is broken. It's been struck by lightning? Really? Really? Okay. Um, you guys should probably get off the ride. You should get off the ride. I have a mechanic somewhere. I'm, I'm sure he'll be on that momentarily. I'm sure that'll all get taken care of. Oh, yeah. It's not a, it's not a good day in the park. Okay. Let's see what I want to do today. Yeah, looking around, I think this is the best place to put a coaster. I've got a lot of space over here I can build on, but still have a lot more space around it to put other things. This side of the map's pretty much all taken up at this point. And the back side, well, we've got a plenty of space back there, but let's just hold that for other things that we might want. So what have I actually got for roller coasters? I believe I only have a couple of the basic ones. Uh, give me coasters, please. Junior coaster, smaller, less intense, first step in any coaster lover's journey, or wooden coaster, timeless, large, loud, and intricate, excellent at providing airtime and sweeping turns. Well, it sounds like that's going to be more popular. I don't think, it doesn't sound like the junior coaster is really going to thrill people. So probably start with the wooden coaster and go from there. Yeah, let me, let me start fleshing this out a little and seeing exactly how I want this to go. Okay, I started working on that and then I just got a notification that Team 1 has finished bumper boats. Oh good, another water ride, because that worked out really well for me in the past. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me just concentrate on the roller coaster for right now. So if you say, now, I got four stations. I think that's fair. That's a good amount of stations to start with. Now I actually need to start fleshing the, these things out. And the only roller coaster I've done was the tutorial roller coaster where it hand walked me through building it. So... This is going to be a little fidgety. I'm probably going to do this in little bits and pieces as I get it going and then kind of brutally edit it so you guys don't have to suffer through me putting tracks down, taking them off, putting them in the wrong place, taking them off again. I'm just going to kind of work my way through it in my own stumbling, bumbling way and then try and give you a finished product when I'm done with it. We'll see how it works out. We'll see if anything interesting happens while I'm messing this up. So let me start the coaster and see how I get along. Okay, here's what I've got so far. So they come out of the station, and I've got the little pulley the cars up tracks going up here, all the way down to here, and then I'm going to start it rocketing down here. Hopefully that's going to be wicked exciting. So far, so good. This only took me a couple of minutes to flesh this out. I'm, I know I can do, I'm only doing the simple one tile sections here. I know I can do much, much longer sections. But again, this is baby steps here. This is beginner roller coaster for me. So just taking it one tile at a time, making sure everything's going exactly the way I want it to. So let's see what happens when I rocket people down here. Got to remember to do that banked curve thing that came in from the two tutorial so you know people don't go flying off the roller coaster nobody wants that uh, okay let's see how we're gonna do here okay so i've got the bank track coming out here but i'm seeing a problem with this if i look at the lateral g-forces that looks really red and angry i think i've got to correct the bank on this so it's not quite as brutal I liked it, but I have a feeling people are going to get killed here. Let me rip this out and redo this bank in a slightly gentler bank is my guess here. What else can I be looking at? Longitudinal G-forces, airtime, velocity. How is velocity? Yeah, that's pretty red and angry around there. And I got to figure red's bad. That's just game logic. Yeah, let me rip this track out and redo this banked area here and see if I can do a little better with that. Well, I was fussing around with it and I accidentally created this thing going through a tunnel and I'm going to kind of just roll with it. I, I'm i okay with that. It's going to go through a dark tunnel and then they're going to shoot up here and it'll all be good. I corrected the bank a little bit better, I hope. 
Yeah, a little bit better. It's not Angry Red anymore. I, I like, I don't know, maybe Angry Red is really exciting. Maybe people want Angry Red banking, but um, I just can't feel that that's really good. It's a little bit red over there, but that that's going to be totally fine. How's, uh, how's Velocity? Oh, yeah, it gets really fast through the tunnel. Cool. I like that. That's probably good. I mean, it's Angry Red, but it's probably good. So, yeah, I accidentally created a tunnel, and I just kind of kept rolling with it. And, uh, you know, pun intended. And then it gets a little wibbly around here, and they kind of go a little bit up and down. Now I just got to connect A to B, and I think we've got a roller coaster ready to go here. Well, good or bad, there's my first roller coaster for this area. I, I kind of dig the tunnel. It was an accidental thing, but I... I kind of think that's fun, go into a dark tunnel and then shoot out the side here. I still have to connect the paths on the queue and the exit, but that, that should be fairly basic stuff, even for me. I got the brake section like we're supposed to have, so it's going to slow down before it gets into the platform here. Hopefully, when I get the paths connected, this will all work. Again, this is my first by myself roller coaster. Again, I know everyone on the planet is better at Parkitect than I am. Totally understand that. But I had some fun building this. So now I'm just going to connect the paths together and see if this actually works. See if this makes any degree of sense. Well, possibly not the most efficient way to get people pathing over here, but it's what I've got to work with. It's kind of how I you know, made the error from step one of putting the path over here over this hill. Should have sunk the whole coaster back further into the plot of land here. But here it is. It's it's functional. It works. Let's actually turn the game on. Let's see if people actually are going to come over here. I know it's going to be kind of a long walk, guys. Oh, you're super tired. Okay, we can do something about that while we're waiting for somebody to come over and use the roller coaster. Hopefully, we can put some benches down for you guys. I can totally handle that. Okay, the coaster's off. There's nobody on it, but the coaster's going. Are we just showing people that the coaster is active? Please say yes. Now, is the coaster going to shoot off the tracks because of my poor banking? Probably yes, but let's see what happens. Goes down there. Not super speedy. Comes out there. I like that little turn. That's cool. And breaks there. And then just kind of rolls back into the station pretty cleanly. I probably should have put the brakes on this corner. That would have made more sense because you lose a lot of fun just going very slowly around that corner. Should have put the brakes on that corner, the very last corner. I'll try and remember that for next time. Okay, a couple of people waiting for the roller coaster. Everybody get in line. Roller coaster, here we go. My first roller coaster by myself without it being a tutorial one. Off you go, kids. All right, we'll, we'll check back with in, in with you in a bit, because um, obviously you've got a lot to do here. Maybe it'll be an idea to put a concession area over here, too. Okay, here we go, here we go. People on the roller coaster. Off you go. Off you go. Are you going to have fun with this? Please say yes. That would be great if you did. I want to see lots of cheering and excited faces as you go through the tunnel, because I really like the tunnel, even though it was an accident. Yep, some screaming, and then some more screaming. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get down on the ground here. And as these guys exit, maybe we can check in with the passengers and get sort of a exit poll, an opinion poll on how they liked the roller coaster. So if you guys just want to go ahead and get out, so other people can enjoy the ride. Thank you. So um, you, you, you just did a little dance. Are you happy? What's going on? Wooden coaster was a really good deal. Okay, so it's we're not charging enough. And how about you, Mario? Wooden coaster was a really good deal. Okay, how much are we charging for a wooden coaster, please? Thank you. Uh, four bucks. And they say that's a really good deal. Well, clearly, we need to charge more than that, then. How about five bucks? How about five bucks for the coaster? If you're saying it's a really good deal, that is always tycoon game language for you're not charging enough. I like the tunnel. Sorry, it's it's a very minor thing, but I'm often amused by tiny things. Totally should have put the brake on that corner. Okay, all right. Now, best moves would be to pretty this area up and see what else we can do to flesh out this area. And before we do that, we should actually check back in and see what the research team figured out on water rides. What did you make? You made bumper boats. Motorized circular boats with large bumpers. That looks just as fidgety 
as the battle boats do, but I know how to do it now, so it's, it's not going to be fidgety. It's just a learning experience. I'm not complaining, just learning a new game. So bumper boats, okay, we'll definitely look at putting those in. They're, they're not, not pricey. 1200 bucks is not nothing. I only have about 3500 right now, and obviously because I was so busy doing my roller coaster, yeah, I just let you keep going on with water rides. I really wanted to switch you to something else. But you know what? That's fine. You're kind of almost done with that. You're almost about three quarters done with that anyway. You may as well finish the research, and then we'll move you on to something else. That'll be totally okay. I should either, well, I should either pretty this area up or put another bank of toilets in here or both. So I've started fleshing out another concession area here, and I ripped the roof off for a couple of reasons. One, I just wanted to see where the employee paths were going. And two, I realized we don't have a staff area, a staff room over here, somewhere for the employees to relax. That is expensive, but I think worth it in the long run. So if we parked that right in there... That's fine. That'll, that can live there. Um, not exactly swimming in money right now, but we're hopefully going to make that up a little bit on some of these concessions. And really, my, my goal is to just flesh out this area, this area right here. I'd like to see if we could squeeze another small ride in here, and maybe we can tuck some toilets off by the, the fence line here. I've tried to wall off as much of the exposed area of the delivery area as we can, or at least as much as the game will allow me to, because I can't build into that fence. How did that end up doing while I just happened to be talking about that? Eh, not so great. Not so great. This will look a little better once I get this built out. They won't be able to see into here, which will be fine. Boy, they really hate that. Okay, it's, it's going to be fine, guys. You're not going to see a lot of this when I put the walls and roofs back up. Okay, let me continue. I know you're tired. I'm going to put some benches down momentarily as soon as I put some more places to bilk you out of your money. Like, I don't know, like another burger stand. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Got to get the research department working on some more shops when they're done with that silly water ride. Let's put the hot dogs here. And how about some soft drinks? Everybody likes soft drinks. That can live right there. And probably when I've done all this probably need to put another hauler on duty that's three five eight different shops he's gonna have to deal with but he doesn't have to go far to do it we'll see we'll see how it plays out if he can't keep these stocked up we'll put another hauler on but he doesn't have very far to walk so i think one hauler should be able to take care of all of that okay let me keep fleshing this out put the roof back on put everything back together pretty it up a little bit with some decorations not a lot oh hang on hang on there we go that's what i wanted to see you finished your thing start working on some more shops or we don't have a lot of calm rides do a shop for right now just do a shop for right now and then we'll look at some calm rides we've got plenty of rides to slap down we don't have I mean, we have a shortage of calm rides, but we don't have a shortage of rides, period. Especially with our new water ride. What did, what did you actually make for me, guys? Uh, the log flume. Log boats are propelled along the flume by the flow of water. Large drops with big splashes of water. Increased popularity during high temperatures. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll fidget with that, but we've still got the bumper boats we can play around with, too. Okay, we'll have a think about that. Let me keep working on my area over here. Well, with all that being done, and some benches and trash cans down here, I, I don't exactly have a heck of a lot of money left. I think we could probably throw down some small decorative things in this area, just to pretty it up a tiny little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot. How much are flowers? They're 11 bucks a pop. Tulips are only three bucks, but that's only a single tulip. I think we can do a little better than that. Any inexpensive trees? No. No, not really. 33 bucks for a birch. I have $377 left. We got to kind of chill on the money right now. Now, speaking of money, how are we doing on concessions? Like, what's, what's our profit here? We're charging a buck 75 for burgers and fries and our actual profit is a dollar 83 so we make 83 cents selling fries profit and a dollar selling a burger profit 
I think we could bump up the fries a little bit. Let's get that up to two bucks. And that will sync. Yeah, that's, so that's going to synchronize across any burger joints that we have. Good. And let's just bump up the burgers a little bit. I know these little pennies aren't going to be what makes or breaks it, but it's all on volume. All on volume. How about hamburgers? What's our profit on hamburgers? Uh, sorry, hot dogs. Excuse me, hot dogs. Only 50 cents. Well, I think we can do a little bit better than that. Like 250. 250 would be good. Say you, for instance, Calvin Gibbs. You got any thoughts about money? This hot dog is really worth the money. Okay, and you want to get something from soft drinks. Are you going to comment on that too? Are you going to tell me that's also worth the money? Because that is tycoon game code for we're not charging enough. So you already think the hot dogs are cheap. Well, then fine. How about if they were 280 a hot dog? And soft drinks could go up a little bit too. Oh, buck fifty, what's our profit? Only fifty cents? I think we can do better than that. How about two bucks for a soft drink? That's very reasonable in a in an amusement park. Usually a amusement park soft drink, you're you're looking at like ten bucks for that. So I'm giving you guys a bargain. But we have no money. We have no money left. I wanted to build another ride in here, but I think we just need to chill on the money. Just let some money come up. I just built a ton of stuff here. Built the roller coaster, fleshed out all of this concession area. It does maybe seem, considering that one of our original soft drink places is out of stock, it's possible the hauler is having a hard time keeping up. I mean, I can't charge these people any money if it's out of stock, if there's nothing to buy. How much is another hauler going to cost me for a salary how much do you you cost me 16 dollars a month okay good well you know what if you could help keep everything stocked up you can pay your own wage with that yeah let's hire another hauler i think that's a good move you can just park yourself right there park yourself right there okay good that should help get everyone caught up let's let a little bit of time tick along here and see, well, see if we can generate some money. Well, apparently there's a surplus of potatoes, which is going to decrease the price. More importantly, where I was just kind of hanging out, waiting for time to pass, apparently we got an achievement of getting 200 people in the park, which indeed we did, which was not as exciting as the fact that accomplishing that goal unlocked this whole area over here. So all of this has just been added, and that's, oh good, more lake. Yay. So, you know, more water rides. But that is pretty much a darn perfect spot for another water ride. Now that I'm a little more familiar with how to build them and make sure there's enough room for everybody's animation, maybe we'll put another water ride over here. Nothing I can do with that information right now. I mean, I've got no money and I'm disinclined to take out a bank loan if we can avoid it. If it can be possibly helped, um, this burger place is still out of stock. Is somebody going to be working on that? I'm going to go with a loose yes. And how's the roller coaster doing these days? You guys are getting on the roller coaster. Go through the tunnel. It's funny. It, you scream and then you're silent and then you scream when you come out of the other end. It's pretty funny like that. Screaming. Silent. Screaming. Yay. I like my roller coaster. I know it's silly. It's a terrible roller coaster, but it's mine and I built it and I totally should have put the brake on that corner. That would have made a lot more sense. Okay. Well, nothing really for me to do here except sort of sit here for a little bit until something happens. So I'm just going to let some more time tick away and see how we do here. And with letting time just tick along here, that's a really good time to start looking at our finances. Team 1 has finished Cash Machine. Okay, good. Do I make money on Cash Machine, or is that just a way for people to have more money within the park? Either of those are acceptable. But I wanted to just kind of go over my budget while I'm just basically waiting people for people to spend money. So how are we basically doing? Moving into October here, September definitely up on food and drinks so raising the prices certainly seem to have a positive effect there we're a little down on souvenirs i'm not sure what they're counting as souvenirs i can only logically assume it's the umbrellas and the info kiosk or both um just largely because you don't eat those well i don't 
I mean, he could eat an umbrella in theory, but don't. So umbrellas, I'm going to guess, are souvenirs, info kiosk, maybe. But we're down a little bit on that. So we'll have to go through and adjust our pricing there. How are we doing on ride admissions? Pretty stable all the way across. Not going up, not going down. I think we can, we are basically overall profitable on rides, but we could be doing a lot better than 77 bucks for this month. I mean, almost 300 for last month, a little bit more for the month before. I think we can start bumping up our ride prices. Park admissions, we are taking a nosedive on when you throw in our expenses for wages and all that kind of stuff and building maintenance and all that. Now, I was advised in the comments, don't try making money out of park admissions. That's not where the money is. That's fair, that's fair. But I think we're, we're charging virtually nothing to get in the door. I think I have it at like, yeah, $2. Yes, I'm not going to try and make the money on park admissions, but I do think we can be doing a little bit better than this. If this can just help defray our maintenance costs better than it is right now. How about if it was, say, $350 to get in here? $350, okay? $350 to get in the door. That's still a very fair price. And going back down here, where is our umbrella stand? There it is. How much are we making? What's our profit on an umbrella? Buck fifty, actually. That's pretty good. It may not make a lot of money, but it's very profitable. How about if it was a teensy tiny bit more profitable? Teensy tiny bit more profitable. People are 75% satisfied with umbrellas. It's probably not going to dip that much. And I bet you guys really need one now. Yeah, you're all dashing to the umbrella stand because it's pouring rain. Boy, I raised the price on that just in time. Just in time. Yeah, you get those umbrellas. You get, you know what? You know what? Maybe it costs you a little bit more because it's pouring rain. You want an umbrella now? How about it's two ninety for an umbrella? How about it's eighty bucks for an umbrella? I wonder if I could get away with just jacking up the price when it rains to like, I don't know, something ridiculous, like fifty dollars for an umbrella, and then pulling it back down when it stops raining. Probably I won't experiment with that right now. The other thing that I was seeing while I was just sort of letting time move away is we're getting a lot of vomit. We're getting more than a little bit of vomit. Wow, you're all so tired. I'll try to throw down benches. I just don't have a lot of money right now. How about if we hired another janitor? I think that would be a pretty smart thing to do here. There's a lot of people in this park. A lot of people. 18 bucks a month. It's not going to be what makes or breaks us. Let's just get another janitor on duty for trash and vomit. There's some trash right there on that ride. I bet that's dragging down our decoration value. Yeah, sure is. Sure is. So trash there, vomit there. He's cleaning up something, and the other janitor is cleaning up another thing. Good. I'd love to throw down some more decorative items. Not a heck of a lot I can do with $185. So back to... Is there any other prices I want to adjust? Yeah, the rides. The rides, actually. I'd like to adjust those prices. So, oh, go back to... No, go back to where we were. Right now, 2 bucks. How about 250 How about that? And how about... Uh, what are we charging for this one? 250 how about that goes up to, well, what do people think about it? You just, you want something more intense than swinging ship. It's a swinging ship. It's pretty intense. I don't like those rides. Those are a little too hardcore for me. I don't like being like virtually upside down. So, um, all right, you, you want something more intense. I'll work on it. But for right now, you're going to get charged a little bit more to go on swinging ship. And seeing as we got that info, let me just go over to the roller coaster. What's the general consensus on the roller coaster? What do people think about this? Um, 11 people want to go on it. Seven people think Wooden Coaster was awesome. And a couple of people don't want to go on when it's raining. That's totally fine. 84% satisfaction. I'm pretty okay with that. For my first roller coaster, I'm pretty okay with 84% satisfaction on this thing. I'm just going to let that ride, pun fully intended. Um, you need more benches. Okay, okay. Let's some time tick away. Let's get some money coming in the door here. And with nothing else to do except kind of let time tick along and get some money in our pockets, basically stop building things, start letting people put some money in the coffers here, fill up the war chest a little bit, maybe slowly add some decoratives around this area. Long story short, this is probably a great place to cut it on Park Attack campaigns for today. Obviously, this Victoria Lake scenario, this is going to take us a little bit longer than one episode. We've got a lot to get done here. 
and no money to do it in. Again, trying not to take out a bank loan if we can help it. So we'll pick up some more of the lake scenario in the next episode. Hey, if you've liked the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe you're just checking me out for the first time, go ahead and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to, just so you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. But until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?